Yeah, my name is Parva Vyas and I am from Ahmedabad. My experience about Raman Awards is that I get to learn many things. Even if I don't get selected in stage two, I get to learn about many things, especially from think tank videos on YouTube and many other things. And if even um, I'm here in the Raman Research Institute, I got to learn many things about uh, how each uh, how. Uh, everyone performs experiment. What variation everyone br brought in their experiment, and the, and I learned simplicity. That simplicity is the main thing in uh, for C V Raman sir. And the, uh, in my first attempt in Raman awards, I performed a very high five experiment. It was very high. Uh, but in the, my second experiment, uh, in my second uh, attempt, I performed a like basic experiment which uh, explain big big concepts. S that is simplicity, and I uh, and I learned simplicity from Raman sir. Raman sir. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, but still, I'm left with my viva. Once my viva gets completed, uh, let's see what happens. My name is Pranthi H G, and the model of my project is uh, uh, is electromagnetic crane. And uh, Raman Awards, uh, this uh, uh, Raman Awards, like RYSI camping, is uh, really helpful for the children. Like, in order to get selected, we watch some YouTube videos and all the other. We go on internet and search some things. We uh, go, we, like, we you know, get ourselves busy in all the resources, and uh, in that we also learn. We also gain more knowledge about this, and this is a. Very great platform for uh, like students to exhibit their uh, talent and uh, put out their in bringing out their ideas. Uh, so like it was a very good experience in here. My experience at Raman Awards as of now was wonderful because not only did we gain a lot of knowledge, we got to make new friends and we got opportunities to visit every counter and uh, improve our knowledge by that. We also got to research more and uh, we got to learn a lot of things due to this uh, campaign. So I really hope to participate more in the future. So today my, my project is about electro, uh, is about uh, turning hydrogen as a renewable source of energy. Yes. So this this uh, this procedure consists of two stages. The first stage is about electrolysis. In this process, the water as a compound gets broken down into two atoms, uh, the hydrogen and the oxygen. So we are going to use this hydrogen that is produced due to electrolysis in order to supply electricity. So let's begin. Uh, as you can see. These two graphite LEDs that I have used, they are basically the electrodes. So the anode is the positive one and the cathode is the negative one. So due to this, um, the hydrogen that is the positive ions get attracted to the negative and the uh, oxygen that is the negative get attracted to the positive. So as you can see, after some time these uh, near the graphite LED, it starts to bubble and the gases start to come up, they start rising. So uh, at this stage, when we connect it to the uh, sorry, when we connect it to the LED, it starts light. So this is basically the process of electrolysis and reverse electrolysis. In electrolysis, the water gets broken down into uh, hydrogen and oxygen by a uh, cathode and anode. Whereas in reverse electrolysis, we reverse the uh, position of the anode and the cathode. Thus, when we Yes, yeah, so when we pass uh, hydrogen through the anode, it gains a negative charge. So the protons pass through the semi permeable membrane and the electrons take another different path. This uh, generates electricity. And uh, this, when uh, combines with the oxygen coming through another chamber, it forms the compound water. So no harm is produced. And when this is done on a large scale basis, we can uh, obtain this energy in the battery from other renewable sources of energy. And uh, this. Uh, these gases that are obtained due to electrolysis can be uh, transported and distributed instead of storing the electricity into lithium ion batteries because uh, it is not really biodegradable. Thank you. Thank you. This is an electromagnetic crane and uh, this is based on the principle of electromagnetism. We all know that an uh, iron bolt wound with copper wire acts as a magnet when current is passed through it. So on this, basis, on this uh, principle, this uh, model is being made. For this, we need materials like 36 scotch copper wire, extended wires, uh, battery connector switch, and some iron load. We also need uh, a cardboard box and cardboard arms and chopsticks. 
we need to attach this cardboard arm uh, in this uh, as shown and then attach uh, insert this copper uh, like chopsticks like this this acts like a lever and this acts like a pulley then we are going to make our electromagnet i have wound about uh, 200 to 300 uh, turns yeah turns of uh, copper wire and then we have to connect it to the extended wires um, switch battery and then we need to add this thread from the liver to this uh, uh, electromagnet then our electromagnet crane will be ready let me show you the working here i have uh, placed some load i'll turn this in order to bring this down and then switch it on when switch on it produces magnetic effect and uh, attracts the iron load oh it attracts then we can place wherever we want and then switch it off thank you my name is srijul sanakal my journey was very good through ramana awards and i expect that i'll get i'll gain more knowledge through this this is my model called object undergoing rotational motion when different parts of it move by different distances with each other so you can see that i have stuck three color pencils with each it uh, the equal distance with each other uh, when i open the door like this the color pencils draw arcs on the paper but i have kept it with the equal distance with each other how can it differ from smaller to bigger so uh, this is i have kept this color pencil very close to the axis of the door how i'll extend and go this color pencils through the door the it becomes it be, it differs from smaller to bigger like that i'll give you an example how can you how you can test on it you can draw two circles uh, with the different radius of each other you can see that uh, the circles do not intersect with each other i am demonstrating the same in this model uh i was i am ex- i am expecting very good uh, uh my journey was very ni- very good through raman awards and uh, i'll think that i'll gain more knowledge through this and uh, i got a very very means i got very nice uh, experience with uh, raman awards thank you my name is surendra i am from dharmapuri tamil nadu this is a good day. good contest i'm feeling yes i nervous same time yes basically my project is about plant movements we all know that plants grows towards sunlight and against gravity in a similar manner the roots of a plant grows towards gravity and towards water this is called geotropism and hydrotropism respectively similarly the tendrils of a climber or a creeper plant on touching an object grows extensively and clings to it similarly a shoot tip grows towards sunlight this is called phototropism and the movement of tendrils is called thigmotropism and now when the pollen grain comes in contact with the stigma it produces a long tube that grows towards the ovaries this is due to a chemical substance secreted by the ovaries and this and this movement is called chemotropism So therefore there are totally five types of directional movements in plants thank you